Yesterday we got our new lens. Hey. How do we feel about it? We're we're one out here. This is actually a vlogging lens. I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed and excited. So, um, I'm not gonna cry in this vlog. So, we're good. We're back to being happy. Yeah. We're really wearing blue out this morning, and um. Let me tell you why. All right, seeing as I get a lot of questions about Blue and the extremes of living out of your car and how he deals with that, and also I've been getting a lot of questions about him in the summer heat, I figured I would give you guys all of my tips and tricks for living out of your car with your dog in the summer heat, okay? Because Blue and I have been doing this for almost five years. Our five year anniversary is coming up in a couple weeks. <laughs> Exciting. We've gone through all the bumps in the road to figure this out, so. Let's just get to it. Before I start, I hate that I even have to say this, but your dog, he totally relies on you for his quality of life. So if you are road tripping with your dog, living out of your car with your dog, or car camping a lot, whatever you're doing, your dog should be your main priority over your route, over the amount of time you want to drive, over your stops at the grocery store. Okay, like literally everything. You have to put your dog before you because they have no say. They're just along for the ride, right, bub? Yeah. All right, my first little trick of the trade is I do everything in the early morning or at night when it comes to exercising blue, when it comes to running errands, when it comes to, like if I have to go to the gym and I need to leave blue in the car so I can go like work out and shower, I'm doing that at two in the morning. And like, oh, there's flies all over my camera. Get, go on get. Um, so if I'm working out or I'm showering at the gym, and I need to leave blue in the car, which I do, I don't take blue into the gym with me, I'm doing that at two in the morning, okay? Is that annoying? Yes. But like, the hours of two and 5 a.m., it's cool, you know? It's cold outside, so he he's fine in the car. Get your ball, go get your ball, go find it. I threw it over there. It's over there. Blue, I need you to understand directions. It's over there, over there, over there, good boy. If you are hot outside, your dog is hotter, okay? He's suffering more than you are. I don't even know if that's true, but I do live by that. Anytime you drink water, offer your dog water. And if you're not drinking water, like a gallon a day like me, which is all the time, so Blue gets wa offered water all the time, give your dog water on the hour. I had somebody asking, does Blue have access to water 24 seven? Yes. Right now he has a bowl set out by the car. So when he's outside, it's constantly full of water. When he's asleep, I keep a bowl of water on the floor of the car so he has access to water all night. The only time Blue doesn't have access to water sometimes is if we're driving and we're on like a really bumpy road and a bowl is gonna like spill water all over my electronics. Then I'll empty it out, but then I still offer him water every hour. Like religiously, okay? Unless he's sleeping, if he's napping, I'm not gonna wake him up and be like, drink water because knowing my dog, he would be like, ew, get away from me, I'm sleeping, so. You know your dog, but yes, water is very, very important. So offer them water every hour. Same thing with going to the bathroom. That's not necessarily heat dependent. I've heard of people that only let their dogs out like two, three times a day. That's crazy to me. Your ball's over there. Go get your ball. Over there. Your little wiggle butt. Over there. Oh, all right. Let's go help him find it. Let's go find your ball. Oh my gosh. Blue, I see it. You dingus. Right there. Was that so tough, Bubby? Searched all over. It was right in front of your face. <laughs> oh, as far as stuff that you can buy for your dog, here's Blue's summer gear. So Blue has this cooling mat, which you guys may have seen me talk about before, but it's amazing. It's actually super, super cold and works really well because I've sat on it before and it's it's freezing okay so this works well for him if you watched my get my car ready for the summer video you saw me pull this bad boy out and that is an absolute staple that little battery powered fan I charge it every day while I'm driving and then it's fully charged at night and it's it stays on max for eight hours so this thing is amazing 
definitely recommend. This thing was a game changer for me and Blue. Like three more times and we gotta head out, okay? Do you guys warn your dogs like they speak English or is that just me? <laughs> These are Blue's summer boots. He actually has summer and winter boots. His winter boots are like taller, go all the way up his leg and they pretty much just prevent ice buildup. These summer boots are for hot pavement. So you can just see them like so. I actually should put these on him. It cracks me up because he always like high steps when I first put them on. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you can't walk on pavement with your bare feet for like 10 minutes straight, it's too hot for your dog to have their pads on the concrete. So I definitely recommend getting them some sort of protection. I also will put these on him sometimes if we're hiking on like a super rocky trail and I'm worried that he might like get cut, you know hurt himself just an extra measure so i can link these below if you guys want i don't think there's anything super special about this brand um just get something that's rated really well and like specifically says that it protects them against hot pavement blue you want to try these on and show the people yeah i just put his front ones on so you guys can see you guys ready to watch my high step all right come here bud I'll do the throw with the boots on so you guys can see how well they stay on. Good boy. So you guys see they stay on really well. He totally gets used to them after a while, so it's no big deal. Just make sure you put them on tight enough, so like not tight enough that you're hurting your animal, but so that they actually stay on. helps him in the heat is I really stay up to date on his brushing and de-shedding of his undercoat. So Blue goes to a groomer like seasonally probably every three four months and gets professionally de-shed and all of that stuff but um, in between those sessions every single week I brush him and in the winter I'll just use like a fine tooth like normal brush kind of thing just get all the tangles out get a little bit of de-shedding out whatever in the summer i use a second brush which is an actual like undercoat de-shedding brush which is kind of intense but the amount of fur i get off blue with that thing is insane so if you have a double coated dog i definitely recommend it i can also link that brush below but yeah obviously that depends on what kind of breed you have but blue needs it so blue does stay well groomed throughout the summer. Ooh, another tip is order your groceries. Like if you're doing what I'm doing and you're trying to live out of a car so you have errands to run, you're not just like leaving from home to go camping and you're actually having to do everything on the road, order your groceries for pickup because it's just one less thing you have to do without your dog. Unless you, of course, have a service animal and they can like go in with you, but order your groceries. I just started doing that. It's life changing. Amazing, especially in the summer. What I will say to end this, you guys, is just know your dog. Like, I spent every single day with Blue for almost seven years. I can tell when he's uncomfortable. Hopefully, you and your dog have that same kind of relationship because it definitely makes it easier. I don't really have to second guess much. As far as temperatures go, um, Blue and I do not sleep inside the car if it's 70 or hotter at night. We actually might be able to with that fan now because that creates pretty good airflow. But that has always been Blue and I's little rule. If it's over 70, we whip the tent out and we sleep outside. Now, if we, and we try to avoid heat like a plague, okay? Like if you haven't realized that yet, Blue and I don't do well in heat and we do avoid it. Um, I'm pretty good at navigating, staying in the cooler areas. However, if we do get caught in a heat wave, like triple digits or even 
really like high 90s. Um, I don't play with that at all. Blue and I will get a motel if we can't like, if camping in a tent where it's open to the air outside is still too uncomfortable, I get a hotel. I don't mess with that. Blue comes before anything. He comes before my bank account. He comes before my route plans. He comes before everything. So definitely don't take this video and try to go take your dog and camp in 100 degree weather. I just honestly, personally, I don't feel like that's fair. Blue and I never do that. I have tips and tricks to help us through the hot weather when we're in it, but that doesn't mean that I'm out here being stupid about it. Blue is never sleeping in heat exhaustion temperatures. Does that make sense? All right, you guys, Blue and I have a lot of driving to do, so we are gonna let you go, but I hope this helps you out a little bit if you are considering car camping with your dog. Leave comments below if you can think of anything else that has helped you and your dog in the summer. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye!